Hello, hello, hello. Today is Monday, November 28, 2022. It's 12.30 in the afternoon for me. Many of my viewers have difficulties in appreciating the importance and the depth of Faraday's law. Most of them have learned in high school that if you have a closed loop circuit, circuit, and you go around that circuit, that the closed loop integral of E dot TL is zero. And, correctly so, in high school they refer to that as Kieshoff's loop rule. However, Kieshoff's loop rule is only a very special case of a more general case. More general is Faraday's law. When there is an inductance in your closed loop, then Faraday's law tells you that the closed loop integral of E dot TL is not zero, but it is minus L V I D T, L being the inductance. Faraday's law always holds even well L is zero, because then it says the closed loop integral of E dot TL is zero. And perfectly all right to call that Kirchhoff loop rule. Faraday's law is one of four Maxwell's equations. Kirchhoff's loop rule is not. And the reason is that Kirchhoff's loop rule only is valid if there are no magnetic flux changes, if there is no inductance, Faraday's law always works, even if L is zero. Having said that, you may now understand why you do not ever really have to remember Kirchhoff to prove because it's only a special case. It is enough if you remember Faraday's law. And then, if there is no self-inductance, no magnetic flux change, Faraday's law says that the closed loop integral of E dot TL is zero. It is because of Faraday's law that transformers exist. That's very important that you learn to appreciate that. Transformers could not exist if the closed loop integral E dot TL through a circuit would always be zero. Perhaps more important, Faraday's law runs our entire economy. Because of Faraday's law, we can convert mechanical energy into electricity. If the closed loop integral of E dot TL would always be zero, you would still walk around on the earth in bearskins. Yeah, it's very true. Faraday's law runs our entire economy. So I sometimes say that Kirchhoff's loop rule is for the birds. Well, what I mean to say that 
is you don't need it. And the expression says, well, it's for the birds. You do not need it. You never ever have to use Kirchhoff loop rule. You always can use Faraday's law and you can never go wrong. If you always use Kirchhoff loop rule, oh boy, oh boy, you can be wrong so many, many times. And you may regret that. Yes, you may.